Hey there, everybody, it's that here, and welcome back. Welcome back to that please, XCOM 2 War, the Chosen. We got a data pad over here. Hold on to your butts. We got a supply raid, more importantly. This is worth holding on to our butts. We only have three soldiers we can send, and we're going to find elite honor guards, elite purifier captains, elite lost, elite boomers, elite grapplers, Elite See No Evils, Elite Infesteds, Elite Sectoid Prime Puppeteers. It's all elite. For the Arctic territories. It's elites all the way down, is what I'm trying to get at here. Alright, three soldiers. What kind of mission is this? Be aware. We'll be working with limited personnel for the next operation, Commander. Yes, I'm aware, Central, and it's your fault. I just want you to be aware of that. Honestly, this team could probably do it, but we're going to bring one together from scratch here. Well, I mean, it's a supply rate, so we're extracting supplies. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, ideally, that means that stealth would be great. Problem with that is as soon as you boop a box, you lose your stealth. It's because of video games, you know, you've, you've heard of them. Uh, let's take Papa Bear. We could use someone with the up close shoot juice that Papa Bear has. I do think we want to bring at least one person who's good at stealth. And we do have a couple of Reapers at this point. Uh, you know what? Is Eleanor ready to go? We haven't taken her on a mission in a long time. Nope, she's wounded for 23 more hours. Oh, well. Oh, we could try our new one, Stiletto. See what she could do here. <laughs> I wish I could get a mask that's just like slightly less oversized. I mean, I say I wish, but we can, I'm sure. Reaperhood F, huh? All right. What if we didn't? Let's see these other, other Reaperhoods. Well, they, look, they, they actually have a face. I didn't know that. Um, the ho oh, it looks even worse. It looks weird without the hood. It looks really weird without the hood. Okay. <laughs> Let's just assume that. Let's just assume that Reapers have to be have their faces covered unless their name is Volk. You know? He's the exception because he's allowed to be, I guess. Literally no other reason. Dress him up as a stun lancer. There you go. And then Dramadon, even better. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But, I mean, honestly, the long hood looks pretty cool. But what goes well with the... I mean, that looks, looks almost okay. I was going to say what goes well with the suit. That's the hard part. Like, who covers up the whole face with a, with a suit? Um, these fitted beanie? No. N nice hair, by the way. It's looking very, uh, looking very XCOM. Oh, yeah, that looks natural. <laughs> oh, it looks great. It's perfect. How could I possibly go with anything else? Okay, the Storm Rider things actually look pretty sick. Like, unironically. They look really good. Why am I getting the hiccups now? I mean, I know why, because I just had a muffin. That's right, I had a muffin at like 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Being an adult's great. I love it. Um, I can have muffins whenever I want. What are you going to do about it? Uh, let's see. Let me give you the muffin police or something. I don't think you... Dude, the neckline looks so weird with this helmet. Do all the custodians look that weird? I mean, maybe not the Grandmaster. That you, like, the only thing that's missing is the Advent face. It looks weird, but it looks like it's weird on purpose. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh, with the suit? Even better. Oh. Some of these are amazing and horrible at the same time. I do like the Fallout-style combat helmets. They don't fit for this character, but I like them. And obviously the... Uh, Several of them don't have proper textures, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. <laughs> yes. It's it's stupid enough to work. Okay, it doesn't work at all, but whatever. Any battle rifle shot will mark the target, increasing aim. Yeah, we'll grab that. Kill zone's fine. Banish is... Uh, ban banish, I feel like, is a must-take. And Annihilate is just banish but keep going. Soul Harvest. Crit chance per kill. Eh, Sting is practically a gotta take. Silent Killer is a gotta take. Needle is a gotta take. Squad, squad Sight? Sweet. Um, 
target definition is a have to. Blood Trail is not a have to, but a nice to have. Dead Eye, extra aim and crit against unflankable targets. That's really good too. I guess we'll get Soul Harvest. I don't want Kill Zone. Can I replace Kill Zone? I can replace Kill Zone with Shredder or Tactical Rigging. I guess I'll take Shredder. All right, thank you. Okay, that's actually some pretty good uh, skills and abilities. Skill abilities, if you will. I mean, I am almost tempted to give you the Glaive, even though I know the Glaive is awful. Actually, the Glaive could work against the Lost. I mean, it's still probably awful, but it could be less awful in this situation. I can give you the Golden Gun. Yes. I don't know how to feel about this, but I think good. I think I feel good about this. This is a secondary weapon. I can't give you a second golden gun because I'm not allowed to. But wait, what? I could give you the glaive and the golden gun. The golden gun is not really that good of a weapon, but I'm just thinking of all the weird stuff I can do at this point. Where is the glaive but better? There it is, the fusion glaive. Okay, built-in firearm sphere is probably not that good. Let's try to not lose a Reaper. I'm gonna try. Give, give her the golden gun. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, best way to not lose a Reaper is probably to give them some kind of immunities. And the Glaive technically does have a shot to it, so we'll try it out. Damage control, iron skin reduces incoming melee damage. Aim, mobility, mobility and defense. Plus, you can give yourself a boost to both of those. Let's give that one. Get her all hyper reactive up in here. Okay, hopefully I didn't do all that just for her to die, but we'll find out. Okay. So we've got someone with good stealth. Someone with good up close shoot juice. And then I think we need someone who is a true melee professional. And that means a. Templar. Let's see, Scorch. You know who we haven't taken on a mission in a while is Prophet, but we can't because he's on a he's on a mission. So I guess we'll take Scorch. Why not? Yeah, I think he's good. Tell you what, though, did I can I upgrade your I can upgrade your glaive? Oh, I can give it Illyrium coating and the alloy blade. Yeah, let's do that. Technically, you could give this um, larger clip size. You'll give you the uh, advanced one. I wonder if the instant kills will work on the melee weapon. It shouldn't, but I wonder. Uh, a stock, yeah, seems good. Auto loader, mm. experimental magazine. Auto loader, auto loader. We have a lot of auto loaders. I don't think we need any of those. Okay. I'm interested to see how this team is going to work. There are a lot of lost, but the lost are easy rares. The difficult rares are like the Pathfinder Hunter. The Prime Puppeteer will probably go down the melee. Ooh, there's a Cryo Keeper here. Oh, we're gonna die. You notice I didn't back off, but we're gonna die. Sky Ranger deployed. I'm, I'm five by five. hopefully kidding. Operation Absent Mountain begins. Um, we could leave at any time, technically. So, you know, if the mission gets too spicy, I just pull them out. As you do, as you do. I mean, it's not my forte, but, you know. That said, I think we'll be mostly okay. But I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. If you're curious, I had something called a Manticottis muffin. It's apparently some type of dessert muffin. It's uh, quite sweet. Not cloyingly or overly sweet, but on the sweet side of it. It was still a muffin though, so it could use something to give it a little bit more, uh, less less dryness. Say what? It wasn't dry per se, but it's still like a largely bread. I, I don't want to say bread either. Muffins are dense. You know, even even a good one, I feel like, is denser than a lot of other types of foods. Like cake tends to be flakier. Flakier, it's not the right. That's not the right description. Airier, I think, is the right description. Cake tends to be airier, um, more aerated, however you want to put it, than a muffin. 
Okay, muffins are dense. Er, dense er. Okay, croissants are flakier. But uh, it was very good. It was very good. It was very good. I had it, I had it with some uh, whipped cream. Not actual, like, from a can whipped cream, but like heavy whipping cream that was whipped a bit. So that it was cream. It, it was good. It was good. That was the point I was trying to get to. Anyway, muffin story aside, how is this mission going to go? We're going to try to stealth our way and see where all the boxes are. That's priority number one. And then after... Don't you dare crash on me. Our latest intel I'll be mad if you do that. Ran into problems while airlifting supplies from yep, a back to the Norlisk. In this area. We have an opportunity all right. here to take advantage of their delay. If we can, if we can use Stiletto to find all the boxes, the if there are any any box that there is a loss nearby, Scorch should be able to pick it up. And then, of course, you have uh, Papa Bear here for some rootin' tootin' alien shooting. Alrighty. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of We could also try to neutralize all the targets, area. but there are a over a dozen of them. The chance that it happens ourselves. easily is Located slim to none. It's got to get upstairs. The rest. Upstairs we be. Okay. Uh, go ahead and run to the other side of the building. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. You have the wraith suit. I think that's sweet. Um, yeah, run over here. See what you see. There's some lost. No surprise there. We found one crate so far. That's pretty great so far. Why don't you go ahead and uh, follow him? It. Scorch, when did you get 20 health? <laughs> I just... I don't know when that happened. Not that I'm complaining. Please understand. I am very much not. Uh, Yeah, let's go up and join Papa Bear over here. Roger that. Okay, Stiletto, you, you can't fly, but you do have them hyper-reactive senses. You increase uh, effectiveness to dodge, and willpower, and mobility, it's great. Um, don't do that. Don't do whatever you're thinking of doing over here. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, that. That part I don't want you to do. But run up here, please. Quickly. Yeah, quickly. Be so kind. Thank you. Hey, look at that. Free mobility point. There's the prime puppeteer. That didn't take long. Who did... Oh, you saw the lost. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so they're mad. Presumably, though, they don't see us yet. Even though this guy turned around. All right, I'm hoping that's the case, because if they saw us, then all bets are off. They're going to start grabbing crates right away, and there goes our stealth. There's the Elite Orange. Purifier Captain and the Exalted Pathfinder. They may end up aggroing the third parties here. Like that. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of chrysalids. Hopefully, that might be the whole group though. I don't know if that's the case, but it might be. Oh, found the foundation. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are not seen yet. Okay. Stiletto, I need you to move. All right. Uh, yeah, move over to this window. Here I come. Thank you. It is the Booma. Okay, Papa Bear, I'm not going to have you move yet. So we know there's a crate here. And that's the only one we know about for sure. Apparently. Okay. Go to go in Overwatch. Scorch. Let's bring you over this way as well. Right. Okay, you two are gonna largely be together. Alright. Now that group is mad. And they're moving in. Okay, let them fight each other first. We got time. Oh! I thought the foundation was on the other side. Obviously, I was wrong. What the hell did you do to him? You just made him mad. Why'd you do that? You dummy. Mm. 
he is a prime, so of course he gets free moves. Oh, that dude got grappled. It didn't stop him, obviously, but you know. And shoot, shoot, shoot. Miss, miss, miss. Good job, dude. Okay, here comes the honor guard and the pathfinder. That guy's armor is a problem. We only have one person I think that can reliably get through five armor. And that's our resident bear. We have two resident bears, but this one's the papa, not the chef. Yes, burn all of them, please. They are all immediately dead. Smart scanner, huh? Okay, that Pathfinder has armor. Or, well, he has armor, yes, but he has items, too. That's good to know. How did you get upstairs? When did you do that? Dude's over here teleporting left and right. All right, I, I feel like at this point, we can basically wait until we get called out and let them fight amongst themselves. Because they're probably here trying to get their items back, too. So we'll let them try. And hopefully they'll fail. Yeah, as long as they all stay downstairs, it's fine. So once they come up our way, then we start seeing potential problems. I can't believe none of them attacked. Okay. Um, Staying Overwatch. Woo, there's a lot of nasty in your sight range. Don't shoot them yet, though. Pistol Just Overwatch. Okay. And for you, I guess you can go in the Glaive Overwatch. I mean, there is the Glaive shot. 2 to 11 damage. Good yowd. And then you have the uh, Golden Gunshot. Oh, it has a Golden Targeter. I like it. All right. For 5 to 8 damage. If you do the Sting, I, yeah, it's going to be with that. Okay. This is guaranteed to remain in Shadow, which is fine, but I don't trust it to get the kill. Give me the uh, Pistol Overwatch here, and let's let them do their things first. Wow, that sucked. Wow, you suck. I didn't think you'd suck that bad. I'm actually surprised. Where the hell are you going, buddy? All right. Are you officially in the fight now? Or are you guys just going to be stupid? Because uh, you just got point blank killed. I think they're going to be stupid. Which, honestly, it's fine. If they get rid of all of the foundation for us, how much can I possibly complain? Wow! That honor guard does some wicked damage. He's apparently allowed to hit multiple times. There goes another loss in a chrysalid. No complaints here. Like I said, though, that Pathfinder is the only one that I have to actually worry about. Although he might have a case of the stupids. Just a <laughs> quick idea there. Just judging by what I'm seeing. All right. Yeah, they're not. Oh, oh. Taking some heavy fire. Well, that was the grappler. Got armor. You do have armor. It ain't helping you none. Okay. I'm thinking we give it at least one more turn. Maybe more than that, even. But right now, I'm feeling it. Stay focused. Okay, give me the glaive overwatch. Oh, that's right. You can move after Glaive Overwatch. I don't want you to. You're in a perfect spot right now. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm telling you. Wow, that Sectoid cannot fight. That's why he's the... That's why he's the prime guy with the inhuman reflex... Okay, that hurt more. Uh, with the inhuman reflexes, I was going to say, and the uh, psionic abilities. Because he doesn't have anything else going for him. That Pathfinder does 7 to 7 damage. Yeah, the squad is going down, like, very quickly. All right, if we can get... Ooh, he went in at melee. Fancy. What a fancy boy. Don't... Okay, I thought you were going upstairs for a minute. You're a unique problem here, Mr. Purifier Captain, because I can't melee you. Is that going to eventually catch us out? Like, is that guy going to use that at one point, and we're going to all be revealed? Should I just snipe him? If we can. Hmm. About to see who has eyes on him, if anyone. 
All right, here come the lost. I think all the chrysalids are dead already. Beautiful, if true. Oh, yeah, get double, triple slapped. He's down to one health already. So does he get to shoot three times now? There's one. It sucked. Got a major firefight nope, here. just one. Okay. Apparently one of the foundation commanders is on fire. Bad grapple. Okay. Who can you see? You see the purifier captain, the cursed trooper, and the pathfinder. You know what? I think it's time to open things up. Slam. Because we want to jam. Uh, you know what? Don't worry about fracture because you don't need it to guarantee a kill on this guy. Um, only 90%. This is a 100% chance. Get the guaranteed. Hi, boys! How y'all doing? Yeah, nothing personnel, kid. Damn it, he did blow up. I was worried about that, but not surprised. There's the 100%. Slam and jam. Alright. Next up. Let's move you over. Actually, let's move you over this way. See what else you got eyes on. Hello, boys. Hmm. I see the party's down there. All right. I want you to take eyes on that other Pathfinder if you can. What's your hit chance on it? 90? What about this guy? 87. Take the 90 with 180 something percent crit chance. Bada bing, bada boom. Next target, please. All right. Everything else is easy rares. As long as you don't miss this guy. Easy rares are coming. Make a mark, you personal. All right, do your thing. Bada bing. A bada boom. Okay. One more, and then you gotta reload. Good news is that that howler tries to get up close. Papa Bear should be able to use his automatic melee attack. Hi. Oh, crap, it was a boomer. Well, he boomed. As the name implies. Well, there's more lost. Whether we like it or not, we don't. And there they are. I didn't Oh, that's not a lost. Hello. Do you also get the lost effects on you though? Powering weapons. Okay, weapons are powered. Uh yeah, from downtown. Nice job, Scorch. That was just a warm-up. Alright. Well, the warm-up was nice. Go ahead and give me the pistol overwatch. We are in a very good spot upstairs. Let's try to take or keep taking advantage of it. If I have you come over here, can we do it without being caught? It looks like the answer is probably. Actually, come over this way. I'm going. Again, without being caught, if you can. Thankfully, she's wearing all gray. So she blends in with the city. Alright, there's the honor guard. There's the foundation. Okay, they're starting to mark supplies. Advent has already marked a couple we knew of it was coming. For extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves. What is that? Oh, that's the uh, slap, yeah. Okay, chances of a Where the hell are you going, dude? You just left the country. You scared? I mean you should be, but still. Oof. Oh, there's a cryo keeper. Hey, and there's a big butt. All right, you're a butthead. Whatever you want to call him. Here comes the howler taking his time. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Who'd you who'd you see? You saw Scorch? Okay. That was a 46% chance. That was a good hit. And let me guess, he's gonna howl. Or not. Oh, those bugs. Of course you're allowed to move right next to them. Nice kill. And a soul harvest. That was a lot of easy kills. That was great. All right. Stiletto doing great over here. Um, one 
One foundation soldier down. Okay. Well, now we need to get scooting over here. Papa Bear, move over this way. Go ahead and get me the thing. Not the supplies, but this thing. Laser sight, chosen info. Oh boy, I wonder what that's gonna tell us about. It'd be awesome if it like generated a new avatar oh, chosen or something. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? All right, first to you. Bye. Then go ahead and knock out one of these foundation members. Actually, we have lightning slash available. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can move you over here. And that might actually get the... It's a 100% chance to crit. It's going to get the kill. We got a casualty. Nice. Okay. Oh, did not want to activate the Cryo Keeper. That's a problem. All right. I just wanted to uh, activate the... <laughs> I swear I just want oh no. I mean that's not too big a problem. I just wanted to activate the dead uh foundation member, that's all. Uh yeah, go upstairs. Alley -oop. Okay. Hmm. Those guys count as count as lost. Those ferals. So we'll take them out. Get our free shots. Do you as you do. 90% chance. Nicely done. Okay, go ahead and give me Overwatch. Okay, Scorch, I need to get you somewhere where you can actually see and then fight the lost. You can't see them from here? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe this. I can't believe you can't go after this one. I am legit kind of losing my mind over here. So we're going to lose at least one. Because I was going to have Stiletto run over here to this other one. That we don't actually see on the screen for some reason. Come over Move here. That's your job right now. So I'm telling you to do it. Um, Where's the crate? Did the game seriously forget to spawn the crates? Go ahead and do the uh, stun strike on this one if you can. Boom. Well, that sucks. We are caught out a little bit now. now I'm assuming that's Mach X. Although I can't see. Oh, that's just the crate. Okay. Oh, We're now it spawns in. Okay, cool. Get the rest. Thanks. Uh, at this rate, they're going to get them all because we can't see them. They forgot to spawn in the actual crates. <laughs> Which means our only real option is to try to kill all the enemies. He is using that right on himself. Wow. That was a maneuver. Oh, man. If we can get Scorch over there... He can attack all of those enemies. All of the chrysalids. Hard part is getting him over there. Okay, the foundation still gets to move, and there's at least one foundation member alive. He might be the last one. I don't know if that's the case. But he's definitely alive. Alright, here he goes. Where, though? No, he's just taking shots. Son of a gun. Hey, asshole. It's what you get. Danger terminated. All right, thank you. You can skirmish now, which means we can get you to move somewhere. But honestly, you're pretty much in the best spot you're going to get. Just go ahead and get the heavy cover instead. Okay. Uh, stiletto. Let's actually go ahead and have you go back in the shadow. And then move over this way. Moving. Okay, Scorch, I'm going to need you to head over this way too. But uh, stay in heavy cover for now. Keep going. Like I said, our only real option at this point is to kill all the enemies. It is hilarious how uh, 
They froze they basically all of their right. own soldiers. We, we can't see the crates! Move just as fast. Show me the crates, you jerk! Well, he's gonna get a... Oh, that thought them all out! Ooh, that thought them all out! Ooh! Are they gonna attack the cryokeeper now? That'd be great if they did. That actually might be like... They're all going to ignore him. Video games, man. I hate them sometimes. All right. Uh, yeah, good job, grappler. You grappled all right. Well, at least some of them are going after actual enemies. Okay. And then you're gonna take a shot. Yep, that guy's almost dead. You get that commander, too. I do not want to deal with his nastiness, for sure. Can you guys shred armor? We I mean, can't if you don't hit anything. How about you? That was a hit. Nope. Completely blocked by the eight armor these dudes have. So I do have one person who can get through that armor. He's right here. So that's good. Uh, go ahead and attack the other one, which will give you more, more distance. Thank you. We'll also blow up that car, but that's not really the point. That's more like it. That is more like it. That's right. Get that focus. It powers you up. Okay, I need you to be strong. Not the honor guard. Yes, the lost, please. Actually, no, this guy. Wait, I can't see the... Yeah, this guy, this guy. Start with this. Okay. Now I can see the cryo keeper. Good. And... All of Scorch's attacks ignore the armor. This is how we win. Oh, and the uh, guard is dead. Uh, but yes, this is how we win. Don't attack the freaking engorged feral chrysalid. Right, wait. If an enemy dies while poison, yeah, yeah, they'll form a cocoon. Whatever. Get the engorged one. Thank you. That hurts big butt. Yeah. Yeah, it Sorry does. No, you're not. At least I don't want you to be. Okay, get the grappler. He will try to grapple, of course. But he will fail. Beautiful. I knew Scorch was the key to this mission. Uh, right here. That hits who we want. Ah, oh, crap. We killed the one next to him. Didn't mean to do that. What it takes, that's what we do. Now, I mean, I get that. And you're not wrong. Okay. From this angle next. Good stuff. Down to 23 health, which is still a lot. But, you know, it is what it is. You need to attack this one next. And that's also going to take out the... All right. That also takes out the one in front. So now we're out of those free moves. We could have you vault... Ooh, 10 to 13 damage is pretty sick. He also has Shadow Fall, which is not going to do anything. Face Off, which is not ideal. Pistol. That count? Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, 12 to 13, not enough. Okay, now we need to think outside the bun. And I think the bun is right here. Let's go pop a bear. Hi. Thank goodness you can go through walls, huh? Fracture his ass. That'll do. All right. Now all we need to do is get rid of the rest. Beautiful. Uh, you are still missing one, at least one ammo. I know that. Um, glaive reload. I mean, just, I guess. What's next? Okay. Go and give me the Glaive Overwatch, and then move in with the rest of the team for now. Okay? We need to stay close to stay alive. Easy. Theoretically. They're going to keep getting boxes, because we can't stop them, because they don't actually exist on the damn map. But uh, now all we have to do is neutralize all the enemies. A little, yeah. But, yeah. I think our chances are looking good. Central, I swear to God, if you open your mouth. Okay, there's literally nothing we can do. Hello! Goodbye. That's his last bullet, if I remember correctly. Shell, whatever. 
However, Stiletto's over here with an Overwatch. She just decided not to use it. All right, then. Thanks. Oh, yeah. That's going to miss? No, okay. You were scaring me for a minute. Next? That thing's next. Well, okay. Now there's going to be more of them. Maybe. No, they didn't appear yet. Okay, go ahead and reload. Hey, slam fires up. Nice. Crit the crap out of this cocoon. Hey, look, there's a Starbucks cup. My immersion is ruined. Anyway. Blap. Is that it? That's it. We still got eight crates, which is pretty darn good. Excellent work. Beautiful, beautiful. Stiletto did take damage, but five kills and 61 damage for your first mission ain't bad at all. 16 and 287, though, lets uh, Papa Bear casually walk away with the MVP. And 15 and 177 for Scorch meant he was no slouch on this mission either. Not bad for a surgical mission. And hey, we now have three Reapers. I never thought I'd see that day. We have three Reapers, two Skirmishers, three Templars. We need another Skirmisher. Hey, someone go talk to Betos. Tell her I want more. That was phenomenal. Will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. No, they won't, huh? With the elders. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall no, thank you. this crisis. I'm not trusting anything that you're putting down here, I'll have you know. Not a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this mm -hmm. way. Out for three days for that damage, but you know what? For our first successful glaive mission, not bad at all. Advanced hacking? Neat. Got, uh, what? Scramble upgrade kit. Gatekeeper shell. I've got eight intel? That's everything? Did we not get much because it didn't actually spawn the boxes on the map? I'm losing my mind over here. I mean, a successful mission is a successful mission, I guess, but oh my goodness me gracious, I'm gonna flip. Um, I'm not disappointed, I'm just mad. Right, whatever, whatever, let's, let's go, let's go. Okay, back to Geoscape. That's done, supplies over yonder, data pad over yonder. They really want us to get more data pads. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Templar HQ. Avenger plotting new course. Get her healed up. Get her ready for another mission. I would love to do a mission that is all, like, all special soldiers. Like, all temp all Templars, Reapers, and Skirmishers. Oh, The gate is up. Yavo! I hate to do this, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Mm-hmm. You know I'd go myself if I could. I mean, you could, it's just not a good idea. So, can't say you're completely lying, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look all codexed up. Surprised they didn't put it on with duct tape. I am sure your device will be fine. You think? No, he... You can tell he cares. He cares as much as he is contractually obligated to care. He's not contractually obligated to care that much. All spectrums. All spectrums. Remember, go all right. in, take some quick readings, then come right mm -hmm. back through. Okay? I mean, is this the VHS spectrum? It's not. It doesn't look that good. Whoa. Oh dear. Are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Mm -hmm. Where it is. Or any place on Earth for that matter. So about that part. This is the source. The aliens seed of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. I wouldn't go that far, necessarily. Yeah, only way to find out, right? Go on. We're counting on you. Yeah, get your ass moving. Come on, we got things to do. I feel like we could have sent an HK unit to do this as well. Mm. That is definitely not fine, Doctor. 
process. You know, if this was a Star Wars film, it would have made some kind of weird screechy sound for comedic effect. However, once that occurred, the you know this is true. For a second signature. An yep. organic signature. Of course, there would also be like some weird, friendly, insectoid like creature who probably steps in the poopy. But, you know, you know that's to be true. The door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. Mm hmm. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. We say this, but what actually happened to it? It just looks like all the parts are still there. Also, it, uh, interestingly enough, that that was interesting. I don't think I've ever like registered that before. I'm sure I've noticed it, but I think that's the first cut scene. The first cut scene after the tutorial, because you're not the tutorial is rescuing you, the commander. But I think that's the first cut scene related to something happening on the Avenger where you're not physically present. So you know, all, all the other ones are looking at you, they're like talking to you as the commander, they're like, hey, commander, check this out. I was just about to do this surgery. He just happened to be here at the right time. No, that one, he's like, oh, I gotta actually tell the commander about all this crap we've just been up to. Um, that's interesting. I wonder if that was an intentional decision or if that was like an accidental, oh, right. We probably should have done this to keep things consistent, but we goofed it up a little bit here. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Okay, next up is the Avatar Autopsy, but first I, I want to check research. Order, Commander. Okay, new stuff is available. Field research is available. Allows us to get intel. Illyrium refining, refining, refining. Uh, if you could tell, let's get Illyrium. And Illyrium Nanocore Assembly, which, was, which allows us to make Illyrium cores. All cool, all cool. Uh, I mean, we do have the stuff to make some Illyrium cores, but let's go ahead and do Illyrium, Illyrium refining. I can read. I want to know how much we get from that. I'm curious. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Thank you. All right, let's heal faster. Or let's check out the retaliation strike. Um, Chrysalids, chrysalids, chrysalids. It's a hive swarm siege, so of course it's, it's a uh, chrysalids. Beam nursery, yeah, because I want to throw down an orbital beam on this and not have to actually go in. Uh, the GOC are here apparently as well, the Global Occult Coalition. We have a joint task force to help us out, so we have Reapers, Skirmishers, and Templars. We just don't control them. Chaos and Surge Sea is here as well. This is a nasty zone, man, and Mach X. Jeez. All right, let's head on in. Sector 12. East Africa. We're just gonna, what are we going to say? No? No, we have to go. I mean, I guess we could say no, but we're not gonna. We're, we're jerks. We're not that big of jerks. At least I'm not. Not today. Reynold is almost completely healed up. I could send him into this mission, but I feel like that's unnecessary. Hey, the GOC is up here on this list? Were they always on this list? Oh, there is a Grandmaster here. Okay, that's a good argument for bringing Reynold. But I still think we don't need to. So I tell you what, let's not bring Reynold. Neon, you wanna go? Yeah, uh, sure, we can bring you. Rooster, you wanna go? I think we can bring you. Scorch, you just went on a mission, but I do wanna see about potentially bringing a Templar. And since you're not in tip top, and hey, Elena's ready to go. Since you're not in tip top and uh, our other Templar prophet is out, for 30 more hours, I guess we can bring Vault. She's pretty good at what she'd do as well. Papa Bear, you can sit this one out. Butcher, you can sit this one in. You can do some numbers against the uh, Grandmaster. Hey, Sai, I was actually thinking of bringing you to this mission. So let's do that. Man, we're bringing Sai, then we're bringing Croc. I think we have plenty between between these three right here, we could take on as many Grandmasters as we need to. You are gonna absolutely Blast the Lost. Um, Neon, you have some great accuracy and damage that you can send against the GOC, but we could probably use more soldiers to take on the GOC. So who are those going to be? Ain't that the question of the day. Parrish is not at 100% or I'd bring him along. We haven't brought Vambi on a mission in a while. Purple Smart also hasn't been on a mission in a while. Let's bring Purple. Being able to say no to armor is a pretty good skill to have. All right, and if we bring purple, we could. We don't have to, but we could bring Hans. 
Let's bring Hans. We haven't brought a uh, spark on a mission in a hot minute. Where the heck is Hans, dude? There he is. No, nope, that's not him. There he is. All right, I was looking for the uh, spark flag here. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I like this team. I think they're strong. We have someone over here with eight AP to, to spend. Who is it? It is Rooster. Well, Rooster, how about we spend this? Storm position. Assault an enemy position and shoot them at close range with your error knife has no ability description name. Uh, rush. Dash up to an enemy to attack him close with your sidearm and then take advantage and take another action. Hit fire. Mark the target. Point blank. Extra aim, crit, and damage at point blank range can be used after moving. Compatible with a sniper rifle. That's all it is compatible with? Blade oil. Mmm, a poison blade. Let's see. Seek and destroy. Take a reaction shot when finding new enemies. Slice and dice. Oh, this is what we need. Yeah, it doesn't end the turn. Can only be used once per turn. Has a four turn cooldown that can be reset by using other knife perks. Yeah, grab this and eventually we're going to grab Lacerate. Move and deliver a critical slash to a single target. In fact, let's grab it now. Okay. We need to be better at the knife thing. And in fact... This loadout sucks. I'm going to put his knife as a secondary and give him a, a gun. Because apparently the shotgun's not going to work wet, right either way. And we can't equip it in certain spots. Basically, the game has said, no, you can't play this guy at normal. So I'm going to give him this plasma hunter rifle we had before. He can have that back. He can take a... Uh, does he need a knife? It says it works with knives, combat knives primarily. But I assume it works with other things too that are knife-like or knife-adjacent, like a wakasaji, which gives them shred and mobility. Let's take it. Yeah, looking good, looking good. We are not gonna need the heavy strike module if we take that, and I think that would be a good candidate for maybe the auto pulser. Yeah, we'll take that. And then you can have some ammo. AP rounds for you. All right, this is already upgraded. Your wakasaji isn't. Let's go ahead and give it some increased aim. And a superior mag, of course. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. All right, you're looking good. You're looking good. What's your combat sim? Extra dodge. Eh, sure. All right, neon. Do you have a you have a combat sim, right? Yeah, you have uh, extra aim. Oh, be beautiful, beautiful. That's why you have 105 aim. I actually think you're in a great spot. Okay. I think we are good to launch. Let's go try to save some dudes and do that and everything in between. Operation Beam Nursery begins. Let's go kick some butt today. We're gonna try to save some resistance if we can. Of course, there's always a chance that we can't. And then, uh, well, you know, there's going to be some casualties. Probably, probably. There's a chance we could save everyone. It's just slim. Usually because as soon as we drop in, everyone's like, Oh no, XCOM's over there. Quickly, kill all the civilians. <laughs> no witnesses. As we get our asses blasted by XCOM. But, you know. It is what it is, and it's all that it is. And in theory, it's always going to be. But we do have the chrysalids here. That's why we wanted to bring someone who's good at melee. We'll see how it goes. Might go well. Might go horribly. They're not going to be like the lost melee. In in melee. So, well, there, there could be the little ones. The little ones give free actions as well. So if we see them, we want Bolt to prioritize them. To take advantage of many of those free actions as we can. You know, it's, that's how you get the easy rares. All right. Who is best equipped to take on that custodian? I mean, it has to be... It has to be Butcher. Because she can assassinate. Even though the custodian does get a close range slapback attack. You can't slap back if you were slapped out of existence, in theory. You know? Unless you're pulling some, like, reverse flash shenanigans or something like that. 
you know. It was me, Beria. I made you miss that 99% shot. We just got word the aliens Hi, are Central. attacking a resistance outpost in this region, and they're not taking any prisoners. These people need our help. Higher number of We're civilians than expected. Sure the aliens hmm. regret coming after the resistance. All right. Neutralize all hostile contacts in the area and secure the camp. Welcome to Unity City, apparently. The city of Unity. That's what, they, that's, that's, that's what the name says. All right. Look at all this unity down here. Do you feel united yet? All right, we're in. Let's see what we got. Hi, Cactus. How you doing? You having a good time here in Unity City? Hey, Mock X is probably going to join up here right at the end. Maybe at the end of this turn, even, because we aren't in stealth. Oh, there's our Reaper friends. And skirmishers. And Colin. Hi, Colin. Oh, and Silvio. Hey, Silvio. How you doing? This guy's got a point of armor. That's neat. Rescue at least six. We'll try. Mm -hmm. so did we. you won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. All right. Let's go in hot. Uh, Butcher. Butcher says, yeah, I still got concealment. What are you going to do about it? So let's go ahead and use that. Get over here, please. I'll come at them from the roof. I just want you to scout. At least for starters. Uh, I guess stay on the roof, but, you know, scoot, scoot, scoot. Let's see what they got going on. Remember, we also have a flying croc as we need it. Now, there's an infector. There's a hive warrior. There's another hive warrior. They're the big ones. They're the ones we probably have to worry about the most. Go ahead and get undercover here. Huh. No one else really needs it, but... You Hi, Chase Willis. How you doing? Welcome to this, you poor bastard. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? Probably by turning up his mic volume. But all right, whatever. Um, purple. Uh, you also have a jetpack now. That's right. Mm, let's just have you teleport for now. It's a single move. It ends your turn, but it gets you where you need to be. Oh. Okay. Well, hey, it actually gives them an animation for it now. Oh. 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 Oh, they saw you. Okay, that's a potential problem. Hmm, Neon, move up first. All right, I'll go. Okay. Get up here to this corner. Throw on the hook. And, and do exactly that. We need to get people in that building to save some civilians. That'll at least get us three of them. They give me a overwatch. I know your overwatch is pretty good. Uh, tell you what, Rooster, let's get you in this building to save some civilians, shall we? Okay, why don't you go ahead and uh, start by saving this person, I guess. Moving out. Thank you. Sorry. Not really. You're saving them. Come on now. Don't be mean. Uh, hey, Croc. Mm, go ahead and go behind Neon for now. That's fine. Vault! You have very little movement for a Templar. That's unfortunate. Hans, let's get you up here as well. Mm -hmm. Get moving. Hey, I don't think they're going to be able to move fast enough to make us too worried right away. Do you see something no one else can see? Oh, that one dude. Hi, one dude. How you doing? I'm so scared. All right, grapple up. Get over here where uh, purple is and guard purple, please. Okay, you missed a part of your torso, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. 100% new, not worth a lot. Now, yeah, vault might be worth more, but only six to nine, which nice, but not nice. Okay, and then Psy, go ahead and jump over this way. Whatever. Whatever happens from here is all up to And next turn, you're going to be using some booms, I hope. All right, here it come. Oh, uh, a crystal swarmer bug? I don't like that. Is this really the time? I don't like that at all. Blap, blap, blap. That's what I thought was going to be coming. There you, go. there you go. It's what you get. Basically his version of it. Don't speed me up a little bit. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, crap. They're coming from underground, are they? Uh, are they just moving? Why are you moving away? I'm trying to save you, stupid butts. Oh, that's a chameleon. That's gross. All right. I don't like that. <laughs> I need eyes on that thing. I need to know what that thing does so I can stop it from doing it. Okay. Genuinely not sure I've seen that enemy before. All right, there's the chameleon. Chameleon is its own big bag of nasty. All right, too bad we don't have a reaper here who can give it the combat presence. Adrenal Rush. Hive Warrior has uh, ticked off the rest of the hive. Or something. Oh, oh okay, they're, they're being very polite about the civilians. I mean, a good hit. Just not a kill. These guys are being weird. Butcher, we're going to keep you mobile. At least for now. So you're probably going to go behind this tree over here is what I'm thinking. But we'll see what what that does with your movement point. What the hell was that? Something exploded. On Overwatch. All right, we got an ever-vigilant enemy. Good to know. Good to know. What the hell are you doing? Patrick. All right, you're going into Overwatch. Great. There's like two, three bugs in front of you. But yeah, Overwatch. That's good, too. That was, that's too bad he had the armor, or otherwise that would have gotten the kill. Come on, Colin. Dang it, Colin. Hey, Reapers, you want to help? I got to get someone over there for them to help. And then, of course, they'll break the stealth of whoever comes over there. But still, I think it might be a good idea to get Butcher over there just to bring them into the battle. As I'm thinking about it now, that's probably my play. I guess I could teleport Croc over there, too. That's probably a better play. Because then he still gets his two moves. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Actually, instead of all that bullshit I was just talking about earlier. Okay, because once they're on the fight, that's a lot of extra firepower. Especially from that Battle Master, who seems to be the only truly competent one in any of those joint task force. At least in my experience. Are those... Is that the GOC, or is that, that phantoms? They sound like phantoms. All right. So let's hold off on anyone else here and actually do the croc strat of forcing the enemies into the battlefield right away. Or not the enemies, our allies. Into the battlefield right away. Go ahead and jump all the way over here. Hello. Croc is not afraid to get in the... Oh, hello there, Chameleon. Now, Croc Overwatch? What the hell? Wait, who'd you hit? Did you hit a civilian? I'm confused. How much... Did he have all that ablative armor? Oh my god, why do they all get a shot on him? What the hell? Okay, they're in the fight now. Alright, they did do a little bit of damage to Croc. Haunts, can your micro missiles make it over here? Yes. All right. Overdrive. Hey, boys. I see you like to attack my croc. Well, how about I attack you? And also blow up that gas station. Hope you don't mind. Okay, there goes the chameleon. All right, that was some good damage to the, to the... Is that the Chaos Insurgency or the GOC? That's the Insurgency, okay. Uh, can you get the Rocket Launcher over there? It would do more damage. But no, there's not a good angle for that, so give him more missiles. Also blow up that car, that'd be great. Hurt my croc, will ya? Don't touch my croc, okay? Very personal. Okay, um... Can you just tell me what this freaking flying-ass bug do? Swarmer. Healing secretion. Oh, I hate it. Sticky secretion. Okay. Glob of sticky goo. Hive queen immunities. It's immune to all the stuff. Okay. Now we know what to do. So now that we know what to do... 
Uh, Hans, I want you to, uh, utilize your rocket. Actually, hmm. Collateral damage? No, no good shot on that either, huh? Right, I tell you what, actually, let's hold off and maybe we'll use um, your advanced teamwork with purple. Okay, now we got our allies on the field. I said I was going to send you to this tree, Butcher, yes. so I'm going to send you to this tree. Okay, see what else we got on this battlefield. We're not seeing anyone else yet. Chase, get your ass moving over here. Okay, I can't hear what you're saying, dude. Alright, you got no voice. Let's go ahead and move you up here, Sai. Some action going on in here somewhere. Oh yeah, we're going through it. This is actually going to be a great spot. Okay. Launch the incendiary right here. I don't give a shit. I do. I mean, I, I care that you launch it. I don't, I don't care about the bugs. I mean, I care if they die, actually. There you go. There goes that one. There's a lot of things on fire here. Okay, Croc. Let's see what we got here. We got the throw axe, which is free. We got to get these perfect instances out of here. And here goes one of them. The battle is over for this one. You're damn right it is. Okay. Go ahead and get your bloodlust going. <laughs> get your power going. And get rid of this other instance. Give him a nice instance of your foot in his ass. Oh, hi, Chameleon. You actually didn't move around, huh? Melee resistance? How'd that work for you? Bye-bye, Swarmer. Panicked. Panicked. Bunch of panics. Hi! You made a mistake! Woof! 22 damage. And that panics the other ones. And that procs an Overwatch! Dude, Croc is an instigator of chaos, I tell ya. He does something, everybody panics, everyone starts running around, he gets free reaction shots on anyone who comes close. He now has bloodlust fully charged. Get close, I dare you. Ooh. Okay, that was good for us. Who is that? What is that soldier over there? I don't know what that dude was. Hmm. Oh, it's too bad you're not immune to... F Wait. You can go right here with no problem. Yeah, kill kill this Hive Warrior. That's their toughest one. Here, I saw the crit, so he's dead. Beautiful. Okay, we can also slash. So why don't you head over here? This will put you in heavy cover as well. Bam! What an agent, agent of chaos. Trash will always be trash. Trash will always be trash. Get trash, son. Location noted. Yeah, go save some dudes. Yeah, you all right? Beautiful. Uh, and then save this one too. All right, we're almost halfway there. We did lose two civilians. That's all right. Rooster's over here being the good guy, the actual hero. Neon. Hmm. I do want to move you forward. I'd like to keep you under cover, but probably not next to the propane. Is it clear? All right. I don't want you to become a propane accessory. Could shoot that dude. But go ahead and go to Overwatch. Maybe someone else will take that dude out for us. Purple, head to heavy cover. Come on. Okay, we'll think what we do with that later. You can attack this dude though and get me the kill. So you go do that. I will tear you apart! Tear them apart, Vault! Time for you to get torn! Good stuff. Okay, there's civilians all over. But let's go ahead. Do you see any en enemies? You do not. So go ahead and save this civilian here. We can get these two later, I hope. Get out of here. Four out of six. Wow, you saw some extra chrysalids, huh? Mm, good for us. All right. Purple, you don't see shit. Uh, you can emerge as the evac. That's nice. Let's go ahead and have you overwatch for now. Okay. Butcher, let's get you a little bit closer. There are a lot of civilians packed over here in various places. So let's go ahead and have you save one, at least. Uh, 
How about in here? Yeah, this this will actually save both of them. Sounds good. It'll ruin your cover, but it's fine. That gets us the six that we need. Assuming they're both civilians and neither one of them is a faceless. We've secured a civilian oh, actually, you're still in cover. Sweet. Okay. That's good stuff. Oh, <laughs> Hans, you still get to do a thing. Well, that's nice. I like it when you do things and stuff. Um, yeah, we do know Mock X is coming in over there. Uh, it's fine. Uh, go ahead and give me the Overwatch for now. Here comes Mock X. We have Vault over there, but Vault's not really our best anti Mock X person. They have brought the HKs. Other than that, though, the rest of them look like they're wearing uh, some basic padded armor. Is it okay to just kill these guys? Yes, it is perfectly okay to just kill them. All right. Well, I mean, they're all coming into a spot where it's going to be very easy to start oofing them. Fair enough. Yeah, just stay over there. That's great. Let's move. Mm-hmm. Hello, Arthur Rose. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's our pro overwatcher right there. Okay, purple. There's so many of them gathered in this one spot. It's so good for you. Although I might... Well, actually, I don't know. We'll start with you. You'll probably bleed three of them out, kill one, and then a quick grenade from Sai will kill the rest. Hello. Oof. Thankfully, we have a blade of armor here. Yeah, no, you're renowned for your melee, so definitely shoot them. I can see them flanking! That's... Okay, if you say so. <laughs> sure. I can see them, too. Ah, crap. Another chrysalid, uh... Chameleon. Those are the only ones I really hate. Okay. Don't get too close to those guys. Also, that propane tank might explode in your face. Just letting you know, you might like your face. You might want to keep it. Alright, you guys are in the fight. Let's see you get moving. Over here. Go find, um, the Chaos Insurgency is out, so the GOC has to be found still. Hi. How you doing? You gonna battle master up on that swarmer? Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't... Don't melee them, please. Ooh, six damage. That was sick. Wait. Is the Joint Task Force actually doing numbers? I can't believe this. I mean, that was only a graze, but still. I can't believe they're actually doing numbers over here. Usually all they do is miss a lot and forget to do damage. All right, so far so good. Still only two civilians down. All right. Hans, hey, you, that, uh, ooh, ooh. So maybe I don't need, uh, maybe I don't need to use the Meggy yet, which I would like to save it if I can. That was some good stuff. All right. I see you preparing to escape. Ooh, this will take out Sarah, maybe. Bam! Wow, it crit her, but it didn't kill her. Okay. Good stuff. Go ahead and give me the uh, parry. They won't see that coming. All right, who's next? Butcher? Let's... Hmm. Probably have you come over here and save more people, huh? I think this is a blue move, so this is an okay. easy save. Oh my god, there's so many civilians over here? All civilian contacts have been secured. Oh, good. It removed all their panic, too. Okay. Here are some panicking Anakins. They didn't have a planikin, but that's why XCOM's here, right? Work, Dang, that's 12. The out of the Good zone. stuff, Butcher. Okay. Next up, Chase. Okay, well, give Chase, I guess. Move over here. Give me that uh, long move. All right. Sai, can you get a... Plasma Warhead right here. You could, but it'd be a little bit too close to Chase. So get in the corner here oh, like a please. badass. Stand right here in the corner and lob it. Uh, it would still hit. Wait, from here, somehow this would not hit him. I don't understand, but I'm going to trust the game. Dumb brute force. I'm going to trust the dumb brute force. All right. Well, it did what they said it would. Can just one goddamn thing go 
right. What happened? Oh, hi, Sarah. Oh, God, the building. Sai, what did you do? Um. All right, I want you to come over here, Croc, and kill this chameleon. Okay, because if I don't kill it quickly, it's gonna go wherever it wants and do whatever it wants. I do not want it doing either of those things. That is probably the smartest thing I've seen an ex -co or mock ex soldier do in a while. It ain't gonna save you, but it was very smart. You ain't running from this. Sorry, Sarah. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat. I mean, she's not wrong. And dead. Hi. Yeah, you better run. Hey. It's the GOC. All right, now we have an idea of where they are. I mean, we are, we kind of knew. We saw them and heard them reloading. Okay, purple. Let's move you over this way. You're gonna need to be able Let's to do go. stuff to them as well. Uh, Rooster, go ahead and just save this person, and then I think that's everyone in this corner. Oh, no, it's not. There's someone behind yeah, us. Where yeah. do they keep coming from? Who the hell do you see from here? Hi. Yeah, take that 88%. You actually did not kill it. Uh, that was unfortunate. Uh, don't go near this car. Mm, that thing's gonna come over and slap you. Or at least it's gonna try, but actually move up anyway. I need to move up. Thank you, Neon. Hey, don't, don't get too close to the fire, please. That Swarmer's still in panic, thanks to Croc. Who are you shooting at? I guess I won't get to find out. Is it that Swarmer? Is that Swarmer moving? If it is, it's not going very quick. Friend, please. All right. This one I'm assuming is coming to attack. Well, that was nice. But it missed. It's marked, too, thanks to Rooster. Okay. All right, come on. Get him. Oh, no! Tried. Sorry, Cataval. Come on, Colin. No, oh, dang it. Come on, Silvio. I mean, you can't see him, but, you know. Come on, anyway. <laughs> Please, help me out. I like how they run from our skirmisher allies. I mean, to be fair, they do look like Advent. Uh oh. Wow, their accuracy is not great. Okay, we have to actually get those guys on the radar. Oh, Templar taking a shot. But yeah, we need to get those guys on our radar so that we can actually attack them in an effective manner. Still 10 civilians left. Jeez. All right. Chase, your cactus is about to blow up. Just letting you know. Come on. Move up, Hans. Come on. All right, Butcher. Somehow you're still in stealth. Go ahead and... Actually... Hmm. They move over here. This is a risky play. And this is why. They didn't see you, though. Chris, there they are! Oh, and there's a custodian grandmaster, too. Uh, honestly, just seeing where everyone was is a huge deal. Uh, Chase, why don't you move up here, I guess? Okay, we need to start getting people in position to do something about all those people that are there. So, Sai, move over this way. Okay. See if we can kill someone. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a good plan, right? Croc, go run up here and see if you can kill someone. It's a totally different chrysalid, but okay. Yep, that one's panicked now. Good stuff. Oh, they officially see us. The Grand Master is now officially in the battlefield, but that probably means the GOC is as well, and they're standing right next to each other. Why do you all keep doing this? That's not how you panic. <laughs> you're not supposed to run into the danger when you're panicking. You run away from the danger. 
wow, the very first thing we saw the GOC do, officially being proc, is run and be scared. I mean, I can't say I blame him. Get behind this dumpster. That's actually perfect. Until it gets destroyed. Hey, who else did we panic? Uh, you're you're getting crocked. Every time. Please tell me this is eventually going to panic the Grandmaster. That would be amazing. I don't think it can panic. I think he's immune to it, but that would still be cool. Oh, you ran away, you cheeky bastard. You did the smart thing, you jerk. Uh, yeah, don't attack that in melee, please. Um... Yeah, let's actually, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're not a fan of falling back, but I think that's our best play right now. Fall back, Croc. Okay. Rooster, we need you to start uh, getting your butt up here, so go ahead and save this civilian for me. Unless it's a faceless, of course, but, you know, I'm, I'm being optimistic. Beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Out you go. Okay. Next up, Butcher. Hmm. It's not time yet. Time is coming. But it's not time yet. Go ahead and hide. Of course. Okay. Does this take an action and it ends the turn? Yeah, go ahead and power up. Alright. Hans, let's move your let's rush. Move, move, move. Okay, get to the battlefield, please. Neon, same as you. Purple. Let's go ahead and get you. Let's bring you over here for now. Uh huh. Right, get closer. Vault, can I get you up here to save this city? I can. Do that, please. It's a pretty good spot for you there, uh, Purple. You're missing your wrist, by the way. I just wanted you to know that. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and get some Ufen. Uh, they both have 10 health. So just pick one and hit one. One less infector to worry about. Go ahead and give me the deflection. Hmm, you can actually see that one, huh? Very neat. Very neat. Uh, don't. We don't need insanity here. What do we need? If we could use the Meggy. We use it right about... Oh, there's a civilian up there. I don't want to hit the civilian. For obvious reasons. Um, yeah, I guess we can't use it yet. That's fine. You can use Magic Missile. That's a free weak hit. Go ahead and do that. Alright. Tone down the violence a little bit there, buddy. We're just killing people. And bugs. Alright. Right, give me that overwatch, and let's see what they do. Okay, that GOC member is not going to do anything, at least not anything useful. Hunter's flying the other way. Uh, nice try, I guess. Oh, you're infected. That sucks. Neon, show them how it's done. Thank you. Oof. No! Oh, dang it. Oh, that's a cocoon we gotta deal with. Rooster will probably have you jump down and start dealing with that. Healing secret. Oh, that's still alive. Ew, it threw up on it. I hate it. Uh, I guess where else was the... Oh, hello. Hmm. I did not see you there. There's the Grandmaster. Oh, he went after Croc. Well, he's gonna get hit by Croc. That still did a swoot 16 damage and lit him on fire. Comes a hidden shield strike. Croc is untouchable because he's got to kill this turn. Uh, so good stuff. Big words, but so far, you know, he's backed it up with big actions. Uh, where did that come from? That was some weird free damage. But okay. What are you doing, uh, cut of all? Oh yeah, you're shooting the big blob that can't move. Well, thanks. Okay, here's the question, though. Did that 
Grandmaster just expose himself to purple. Because purple has some good damage. If he can pull it off. Okay, here comes the Skirmisher. The Battlemaster, at least. Yeah, help us out here, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We take out that Swarmer as well. The rest of uh, uh, XCOM down there can concentrate on the Cocoon. Be great. Yeah, if you could do us that favor. If you can't, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. Ooh, you going after that one that's up, upstairs? Nicely done! Very good elite shot. Mm, I don't know if Purple can see that Grandmaster or not. We're gonna find out. But I don't know offhand. Okay. What's left? Hi, Chase. How you doing? Things are breaking. Oh, that's that car. Okay, we knew that was going to break. Uh, yeah, go ahead and just uh, start busting this down if you could, Hans. Thank you. The acid burn, too. Nice. Okay. Vault, you are not going after the Grandmaster, because that's just a fool's errand. Go ahead and... Yeah, hit this thing. If you could. I think the bug is still over there, the flying bug. And if so, I think this will kill it, too. Yes, the swarmer was killed. Good. All right. Beautiful. Uh, Butcher. Ooh. You have a lot of tactics. Go ahead and uh, use Shadow Walk. Activate Assassinate. And assassinate this bastard. All right. If we can. There's a chance. It's not a perfect chance, but there's a chance. Knock, knock. 45 damage. He has four health left. However, he actually... He actually got panicked. Good gowd, butcher. Croc may be the uh, master of chaos. And getting enemies to go nuts, but... Damn, that kill. Okay. We need to reveal that um, other hive guard over there, whatever the hell he's called. So, Chase, move up. Sai, go ahead and uh, move up to somewhere. I don't know hey, where. What's going on? Things. Stuff. It's great. Uh, I tell you what, Rooster, I want you to head over here, and hopefully you'll be able to get yeah, eyes yeah. on that guard, or on that warrior, whatever the hell he's called. Do you see him? You do not. All right. Uh, go ahead and use preparation to give yourself an extra move next turn. Neon, you can destroy this, so go ahead and do it. Thank you. Happy now. Yes. Okay. Use your extra move to move over yes, here sir. and hopefully get eyes on that bastard. We see him? We see him. That's all we need. Okay. So, Croc, go ahead and initiate combat on the Hive Warrior. And then if you can't finish it, then Butcher should be able to. But I think Croc can do it. He should get two moves, or two hits. A regular hit and a slash. Or you just crit it to death. It's not over. Alright, we ain't here with no fat lady. So... Tell you what, uh... Move over here and save this civilian. Stay out of my way. Oh! You're still here! I forgot you existed. I think that might be the last one. Butcher, can you take this one out? With a void strike? Sure. Did you just teleport over there? Holy crap. That was amazing. Revenge for Earth. She said the Earthling, but you know. Woo! 16 ability points. A resistance member. Nice. One wound on Croc, two and seventy-eight for Butcher, four and one hundred ten damage for Hans, four and sixty-eight for Vault. You can give me one more point of damage, huh? One and sixteen for Purple, two and fifty-five for Neon, five damage for Rooster. Eh, no kills, but that's all right. MVP going to Croc with thirteen kills, two hundred and thirty-four damage. He was just all over the place in this mission. In four and twenty-two for Sai to round us out for the day. There I say it. I think a good time was had by most. Heck, 
I'd even uh, argue that with the damage he took, Croc probably had a great time. It was a little bit of hurt, you know? He only, you know, ended up procking and then panicking the entire Chaos Insurgency at one time, instantly. It was great. What do you got to say about that, Speaker? Oh, nothing? Okay. I see. It's the propaganda news. Remember. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty then. Excellent work, team. I'm always pleased when How you doing, Croc? Without any reported casualties. I can't hope for a better outcome. Hans up to 148 kills. Hell yeah. 190 for Croc. Okay. Just make Hans look bad, why don't you? 20 civilians rescued. Smart macrophages. Reduces wound recovery time and grants immunity to acid and poison. Neat. We got some SCP ammo. We got some a plated vest. We got some a lot of corpses. It's, it's a lot of corpses. You and your crew. Have 60 extra supplies in East Africa per do. Today. Hot damn. Impressive Butcher needs to rest. Work. Rooster needs to rest. The fact that it's just the two of them is pretty good. Vault and Rooster can bond. Why not? Okay. Good stuff. We have someone who can upgrade their bond, too. Who is this? Oh, the bots. Yeah, go ahead and uh, have them improve their bond. Oh, no, wait. Uh, no, 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 mind. It's, uh, we're busy right now. Chef Bear and Pillamore are going ahead and bonding as we speak. And it's, it's worth letting that happen. 47 hours, though. So it's fine. It's fine. Here's our newest soldier, by the way. Min Ji Hong. Very nice, very nice. She ready to do kill, I hope. Um, I mean, she's got three experience, so she's an actual true blue rookie. Just letting you know. Okay. Uh, any good upgrades worth pointing out and utilizing right this second? No. And that's fine. 12 days for Butcher, jeez. And she was at full willpower when that mission started. 13 days for Rooster. It's because they saw so many enemies. And it is what it is, and it's all that it is. And you know what it is? It is the end of this episode, because that's going to be it for this episode of that plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. If you enjoyed it, you're me knows in by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We'll see more. Because it'll keep going. It'll stop till it does stop, and then it'll stop, and then something else will come. And you'll enjoy that, too. Thanks again for watching this episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Thet. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, everybody-os. Yo.